Welcome everyone to our new Monday mindset session. I want to talk about something I think really important today and it's uh, how do we let go? How do we create a habit of letting go if we already have created a habit of holding on to things? Holding on to whatever happened in the past, whatever happened yesterday. And let's just start with for a moment, I'm going to ask you to Expect something good today. Just get that feeling inside of you. Oh, I'm expecting something good, whatever it is. No matter what happened before this, that you listening to this, no matter what occurred yesterday in your life. And I want you to realize that the past can only hurt you if you hold on to it. It can, you know, wake up these emotions in you if you keep recreating those emotions from the past. Because right now, at this moment, the only reason you could have negative emotions about something that happened prior to this moment is if you keep them alive. If you keep recreating these emotions inside of you by thinking about what happened in the past. This is why it's so important to keep certain practices in place So you replace the bad habits, holding on to something, not being able to let go, with the new habits of learning to live in the moment. When you learn to live in the moment, when you start, this is what I say, you know, this appreciation, this noticing the small thing of gratitude. A lot of people, when I talk to them, they say, oh yeah, I I already do that. I am grateful for my life. Yes, I know. But are you really aware that every single moment, every breath that you take, you should be grateful for? Something super simple is our breath. If we would just stop breathing for five or ten minutes, we would not exist anymore. And we take it for granted, that breath that we take. This is what I talk about when I say being grateful. How often do you remember that the hands that you have, the arms that you have, are actually making you capable and able to give a hug to somebody you love. When was the last time you realized that if you wouldn't have the arms that you wouldn't be able to give a hug to the people that you love? When was the last time you were really aware of your legs that help you really get from place to place? These are the things that Once we become aware of every single moment of the day that we keep that gratitude in us, this is what helps us let go of the past. Appreciating everything that's happening to us. How many of you this moment when you walk up, walk up saying, thank you God for this new day. I open my eyes and I am able to see my kid, the person right near me or the people around me, or to see the book that I read, anything. How often do you remember how this is important? These are the small moments of gratitude, of small moments of living in the now that really truly helps us let go of the past. And whatever happened in the past, you are recreating it right now if you keep thinking of that. You have to understand that if something occurred in your life yesterday, if you had a fight with somebody, argue with somebody, and today you still feel bad about it, it's because you still keep thinking of it and reoccurring. Leave it right there. Put your focus on something that is happening right now, even if it's as simple, simple as breathing, and give appreciation to that. Send a small text to the person that is dear to you, that ever in your life did something to you by saying thank you. It's going to already move your focus from whatever happened yesterday to something better, to the new world that awaits. And you have to understand that by bringing that past in the future and now, it's actually transferring that past into the future as well. And it's as simple as that. Long time ago, I heard one of the the spiritual teachers said in one event, event, somebody asked, how, what is the easiest way that I stop smoking? And you know what he said? It's so simple. You just don't put cigarette in your mouth anymore. 
When you think about that, it is that simple. You just don't put these thoughts from yesterday into today. But it does not happen overnight. And it does take time. And it takes practice. It takes the same practice like it brought you to where you are right now, the person who cannot let go, who keep the grudges about whatever happened in the past. The other thing that you want to get a habit of is trusting life. You cannot have control about anything in your life. If you are constantly, you know, sometimes we think that we should have control about every single event. Even about a person, your husband, your child, you expect them to do certain things and behave in a certain way according to what you want them to do. According to your expectation, your belief, anything. And then if they don't do that, if they don't behave that certain way, then they betray you. They betray your expectations. But these are only your expectations about these people. So holding on to something is something happened that was not going according to your expectations. It was not something that you had a control over. So you feeling you lost control about it and then you keep bringing that into your present. Trust the life that it does everything that it's the best for you. You know, did you ever imagine what would happen if I would just respect the flow of life and make every simple, every single situation make something good about it? Do you think that you would feel like you're actually going in the flow of life or you are going against that, fighting it? Is it easier to swim down the river or against the stream? These are the things that I want you to think about when you say, I hold on to something. I cannot let go. Focus on the present. Focus on the gratitude. Be grateful about things in your life. You're going to see, you, you have to start doing this daily. It might take a month. It might take two. If you are not ready to put any work into it, if you're just expecting to like hear somebody say that, read a couple of quotes, see somewhere on the internet somebody that say, let go, let go, let the past where it's supposed to be, it's not going to happen. It will require you to put a work on that. So starting every morning, you can just simply remember every morning when you open your eyes, how grateful you are for being alive. You can simply put a focus and the first couple of minutes of your day to the people around you that you love. Give a phone call to somebody. If you, if you don't have anyone that you live with, give a phone call to somebody that you know will actually, you can give your appreciation or gratitude to that person. Make somebody else feel good. And then write down a couple of things in your day as they already happened. Just use your imagination. Think about them as they already happen into your day. It's going to already move that, that gr grinch that you're holding on to something else. And it's going to already be, it's going to make you feel better. And then just write a couple of things you really appreciate. And take a moment while you're having a coffee to write down how does it make you feel. Why are you grateful for your son, for your daughter? for your husband, for your family, for your job. Why are you grateful for that? Even if you hate your job, and if at the, this moment helps you pay the bills, write down how you feel when you pay that bill with that money. You're going to start shifting your way of thinking from the past or stress about the future that one we're going we're gonna to talk about that next time as well, about that anxiety about the future. And it's going to bring you right here in this moment. Are you listening to this video, watching the movie or something with your thoughts or your mind being like somewhere yesterday? This is again, not living in the present. So make sure that you start your day with the gratitude, that you start your day with with waking up good emotions in you with expecting something good to happen. 
Don't hold to that expectation. This is what always like destroys us. We hold to them, to something that we expect to happen. And if it doesn't happen, we feel like we lost control or we, we were supposed to do something. Just hold on that when it keeps you, makes you feel good. And if it doesn't, then just let go. If you don't know how, just say, I'm letting go. Imagine you're holding something very tight in your hands. Imagine the, the actual feeling of opening your hands and letting that go. You are just supposed to create the feeling that you let go of something. And it's going to help you to let go of whatever happened. It doesn't have to be that situation. You, more than anyone else, can help you learn to let go. You know, the same forces that hold, helps you holding on to it in the universe are exactly the same forces that they are going to help you let go. It's up to you which forces are you going to use. The universe is always there for us. All the laws in the nature are always there for us. It's just up to you in what direction you're going to put them. Do you want to put them down the stream or up the stream? Practice this and ask me a question. Like if you still don't understand how to do that, write down the comment, like let's talk about it. Let's see how can I help you to learn to let go. But just be aware. Just start being grateful. Think about the present. Again, going back to that abundance and feeling that you have everything that you already need in your life. That's going to help you to actually move that thoughts from the past to the present right now. At this right now moment, you don't have any actual problem. They're all in the future and they're all in the past. So that means they are in your mind. And if they are there, let's learn to move them around. Trust me, it's going to make a huge difference in your entire life, in your every single day. Create that faith. Believe that everything good is happening to you. And whatever it happens, by creating the habit of seeing that as something good, it's a gift that we have. You know, like not expressing gratitude in life, it's almost like wrapping the present and not giving it to the person. Express it the gratitude for everything, every single situation that happened. That's another reason why we hold on to it. We don't believe that that happened with the reason. We do not believe that, that what happened happened to teach us something, happened to give us a lesson about something, happened to make us grow. If we would believe that, we would write down exactly the thing that keeps you holding on and not let go with the thankfulness. Think about that. Whatever it is that you cannot let go, transfer it into the gratitude. And see that thing as something that did happen in order to teach you and bring you in the better direction in life. And once you're going to be able to do that, you're going to be able to see that picture of what is that this was supposed to teach me. And it's not going to be a bad thing anymore, right? You're going to let go one thing after another. So gratefulness, thankfulness, appreciation, living in the moment. These are the habits that we are creating and changing our life from living in the fear anxiety and stress to live in the completely new world where the things are happening for you not to you whatever it is it's a gift it's truly a gift being able to see the life happening for you for your best for your future so right now Imagine something amazing that will happen to you today. Write down whatever it is that you're holding on to. 
with a whole heart, with a full heart, with the gratefulness, with the gratitude, and then see how it's going to make you feel. Until next time, I really hope that this can help you and this can make your life just a little bit better today. So have a great day, everybody. It was very good talking to you.